Yo, what is up everybody? Jump in here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Chaos Blade in Dark Souls 2. Now, the Chaos Blade was one of my favorite weapons from the last game, and it was a very powerful weapon. And it is really good in this game as well. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to travel over to Sinner's Rise. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can either wait until New Game Plus, and once you are playing on New Game Plus, eventually you're going to get a soul. You can use that soul to make the weapon. Or you can just turn this area into New Game Plus if you're on New Game. Now that's what I recommend because you want to get this weapon as soon as possible because this weapon is badass. I'm using it right here and yeah, it hits really, really hard. To be quite honest, the stats lie on it. Alright, so all you need to do is burn one of these things. And by doing that, it's going to turn this entire area into New Game Plus. All the enemies will be stronger and the boss will be stronger. Alright, since I've already done this, I'm just going to be helping one of my friends do this on his file. But he did the same thing. He's still on New Game. He just wanted to get the Chaos Blade as well. But yeah, so we're just going to fight this guy in co-op. I actually recommend maybe summoning someone. It could be a random, it could be one of your friends. It doesn't really matter. Because this fight is a lot easier with some co-op. But I really love this boss. He's one of my favorite bosses. Actually, believe it or not, it's a female. That's crazy, right? Somebody actually told me that, and I was pretty surprised when I found out that this was a female, so she is a lot easier in co-op. Alright, so the basic strategy is just to have one person distract her while the other person will hit her in the back. If you do that, this fight should be a cakewalk no matter what the difficulty. Now, you can actually do the same thing with all the other great souls. If you burn one of those items, you will turn the game into New Game Plus. And if you kill the boss, you will get an extra soul. And with that extra soul, you can make some classic weapons from the last game. Although I take that back, because one of the weapons, I don't know if it's a classic weapon. At least I don't remember that weapon. But the other three are definitely classic weapons from the original Dark Souls. So I just think that is so cool. Alright, so she's almost dead. Once she's dead, I'm going to show you how to make the weapon. And I'll also show you the moveset and stuff, because... I personally find the moveset to the Chaos Blade in this game a lot better than it was in the last game. That was my main complaint about it in the last game, that's for sure. Alright, so where we need to go now is to Brightstone Cove. Once we get here, we need to go talk to that bird that can make boss weapons. If you do not know about this bird, I will link you to episode 14 of my Let's Play. Just check the description or check the annotation and you can go and check that out. Now, if you talk to this bird, we can go ahead and make these classic weapons. The Moonlight Greatsword, you get that for killing the spider on New Game Plus. This Crypt Black Sword, I'm not sure was this in the last game or not, but you get that for killing the Rotten. The Chaos Blade, you get that for killing the Lost Center, of course. And the Dragon Slayer Great Bow, you get that for killing the Iron King. So that is how you get all these weapons, and they are all freaking good. Alright guys, so this is the Chaos Blade. This is my favorite of all the weapons you can get on New Game Plus. It gets an A scaling in Dex, but honestly the stats lie to you. It says that it should only have about 365 damage. But the reality is, is that it hits a lot harder than that. I can hit enemies for anywhere between 500 to 550 damage. So that's pretty crazy. Here's the moveset right here. I really like the new moveset. I think it's a lot better. They keep some of the classic stuff, but they mix it up. Like, you do get some of the moves from the Uchi. That's a classic move right there. But at least it's on the second strike and not on the first one. The first one is a horizontal swing. My favorite, though, has to be the running attack. The classic katana running attack. Alright, guys. Well, I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like and favorite the video for me? I always appreciate that. I would also appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel for future Dark Souls 2 content. And I really do hope that you guys have a nice day. Peace out.